Hello again. So before we start, I really appreciate if you push that subscribe button so I can get my thousand subscribers in some point. And I really appreciate as if you press that thumbs up as well. It really helps me to get these videos out there. So in this video, we finally get our hands into doing something. So I went to my uncle's workplace and uh, we figured out how we connect all these together. So here we are in this amazing metal workshop. And the plan is following, so here we have this uh, stainless piece of metal and uh, the uh, axle of the sail drive will, will be here, so we'll machine a hole in here and it just locks in place like this. And then we make a coupling on this, which connects to the motor, which it will be on here. So here we have the sail drive and this piece will go and this and it will stay into these grooves right here. This looks great. So the plan now is uh, to first to make a plate here. Uh, my uncle has already done uh, threads into these holes. They were originally unthreaded, so we don't have to mount them underneath. We can just put some bolts here. So first we make a plate here, and then we make one piece that connects into that plate. So it's basically a pipe where we have this flange around it on both sides, and the bottom side gets bolted into that, this plate and the top side is going bolted into the motor. And then we just adjust the position right with the coupler and make holes and there we go. Very simple solution. Basically uh, three parts plus the coupling. So here we have the plate that's coming over the over the part and uh, there's already holes in here and now we're making the hole for the axle to go through. So here we have the aluminum plate here and you just saw the drilling this hole here. So this is the hole for the axle and uh, so my uncle just did this with the cardboard template. So here's the axle coming. So the next step is to measure the height of the uh, part that goes in here and 
how far the motor will be so that we can attach the coupler between there. So now we're measuring the distance between the axle here and the surface here so we can make the this part the right length so Let's see. So first we figure out that the axle should go in by 15 millimeters. That's the length of the groups into the axle head. After that we measure the distance between the plate and the head of the axle. So we get our starting point. And that's about 50 millimeters. So next we try to figure out uh, the clearance between the coupling and the uh, plate and we measure the measures of the coupling itself so I wanted a little clearance between there to access it so it was like something like 30 millimeters then that's the overall length of the axle and uh, then the distance of the coupling itself which is something like 65 so here we have the total distance from the axle to the motor. So now we have seen okay, two parts stuff of the whole thing. Time. The plate no plastic. and the coupling. Uh, next we took some heavy duty steel pipe and uh, cut the third part or just the beginning of it. So this pipe will go between the two flanges and uh, have the coupling inside there. So this is just raw steel pipe and we cut the right length and uh, after a while we machine some things out of it. The reason we cut this already was that the, we took some measurements out of it as well. So now we know the size of the pipe and uh, next I'm going to do some planning of the flanges and the mounting holes for the, this piece. So after the trip we got all the measurements we needed to actually make a plans for the connecting piece. So here we have uh, my CAD work, a little speed up, and uh, you can see the flanges on top and bottom. The bottom one will connect to the plate we saw earlier, and the top one will connect to the motor. And uh, it has these special holes already there with threads, so we connect this flange right up to the motor and the bottom one has some additional holes we cut later to that plate we saw. And here is the result we should be building in next video. So that was all for, for this video and uh, in next time, in a few weeks, I think I'm going back there and uh, we're put all these things together and we'll see how the motor fits into the place. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now and hit that thumbs up as well. In that way I can grow up the channel a bit and uh, maybe 
jump into that bigger boat project, which is the main reason why this channel exists. Bye!